cost $1,000. And I am just a poor kid, and I don't have $1,000. Uh -huh. I only have $100 to start my business. So I'm gonna call on nine of my closest friends to give me $100 as an investment. So Evan's gonna give me $100, Janaya's gonna give me $100, Lyndon's gonna give me $100, Naya's gonna give me $100, so on and so forth. Now I have nine investors in Miss Wood's dog walking business. As it turns out, like I said, I'm an excellent dog walker. So by the end of 10 years, this business is now worth $100,000. Yeah, <laughs> my staff went way up. So Evan and Lyndon and Janaya and everybody who gave me $100, how much is their investment worth now? $100,000. Yeah, so they, that $100 that they gave me is now worth $10,000. So if Evan decides, you know what, I'm gonna sell my stock, I'm gonna sell the little part of Miss Wood's company that I invested in to get my money back, he's gonna make $9,900 on his investment. That's how people make money playing with stocks. It doesn't always work that way. Yeah. It usually takes longer than a year, uh, but it's a risky game, right? Because let's say I went out of business, then what happens to Evan and Janaya's $100? Gone. Gone, can't get it back. So, right right there. Um, so you can't get it back. So that's why the stock market is risky. Does that make sense? So that you're gonna play a stock market game today, and my hope is that you guys get super rich. So you're gonna work together with your business partner. Yeah? Uh, this is why I hope none of us are meant to someone like Devin Weston. Who is Devin Weston? He's basically a character in Grandpa Bar 5 who cheats you out of a deal of several hundred million dollars worth. Well, that sounds <laughs> terrible. And, but don't worry, there's a little piece down at the end where you push like, this car off a cliff. Oh, spoiler alert. Oh. <laughs> Which is, oh. is <laughs> yeah. I was like, hey, you got my money yet, punk? <laughs> oh, I hope nobody ends up like him. All right, Coleman, I need your pass. If you can come sit up here next. Hang on, buddy, hang on. All right, so we're going to talk about the stock market simulation. So I'm going to go through an overview of this activity. Um, I need your full attention while I do it. Uh, if you have questions, you'll have a chance to ask me, but it's high stakes, yes? Oh, I got that in the office. Yeah. The little the paper? Yeah. The actual slip? Yes, you, yes, go, 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 go. I think, I'll give you the system. I'll talk to you in a minute. All right. Okay, so a real quick background before we get started. Uh, we just finished studying the 1920s. And we talked about how the 20s was a time of a huge amount of wealth, that people moved to cities, they got really rich. Uh, we talked about mass consumer culture, and that people became rich playing the stock market. And this allowed them to buy things that were new modern luxuries, like the radio and the washing machine. So that's just a little refresher of some stuff we talked about last semester. Uh, so your task today is to simulate the stock market and to become as rich as you can possibly become. So you should already be sitting with your assigned business partner. One person in your business partnership is going to be the banker. So the banker is going to be the one who is going to keep track of how much money you have um, and how much stock you own in each of the companies. So banker, you have a couple of important tools in front of you if you're the banker. When you have this totals sheet, so you're going to be the person who's keeping track of how much stock you own in different companies and how much money you have. Everybody's starting off with the same amount of money in your envelope. You have $150. So everyone should have $150. Uh, so the banker is going to be in charge of that. And then you're going to have an investor, somebody who decides which stocks they think are going to get them the richest. So your partnership, you have different roles. So somebody's going to be keeping track and somebody's going to be calling the shots. It doesn't matter to me who does what, but everybody should do something. So with the people at your table right now, decide who's going to be the banker and keep track and who's going to make the investment decisions. Go. <laughs> Uh, 
tally them up and then you'll decide how much money you have to gamble in the next round and we'll start the next round. Okay. Does that make sense? Remember you want to get rich. That's the goal. So there's, there's the stock. They're the stock brokers. That's where you buy and sell stock but you can also trade with your classmates once round one is over. <laughs> Rebecca. So what do we write down? Yeah. How many pieces yeah, of stock you have and how much money you have left? <laughs> yeah, but how, are we doing? how do we know like the current price of everything? Because you said she's going to project it. Yeah. Oh, how do you know how much money you have? No, then, this is how much money Well, for round one, these are really good questions. Let me have your attention super quick. This is confusing. Well, round one will be kind of like a trial round. 
Because you won't have the ability to trade with each other. Nobody has any stocks yet, and everyone has the same amount of money. So after round one, everyone for round one will buy stocks from the stockbrokers in the front. They will make change for you. So let's say you buy a stock for $100. You're going to get you know, whatever. So they've got change. So that's how you'll know how much stock you have. You'll bring it back to your table. Brianna will total up how much money you have left and what stocks you have, and you'll talk about how you want to invest for the next round. Does that make sense? Other questions? These are good questions. Yes. <laughs> oh goodness. All right. <laughs> okay, let's start round one. I'll give you a little more time in round one. Uh, how about I give you two minutes to start to talk with your business partners and read through the stock information and decide which ones you want to invest in. Uh, stock brokers, you can decide how you want to handle the traffic flow. All right, two minutes starting now. 